What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be doing a video on the X-Wing. So if you like these videos where we're diving into lore and all that stuff, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more like this in the future. Without further ado, let's learn more about the X-Wing. The Incom Corporation T-65 X-Wing Space Superiority Fighter. History will always report that the Rebel Alliance was saved from total annihilation by an X-Wing starfighter. The X-Wing played a pivotal role at the Battle of Yavin, enabling young pilot Luke Skywalker to fly into the Death Star's trench and target a small two-meter-wide exhaust port. Luke was aided by the Force, but the mission would not have succeeded without the X-Wing's superior capabilities. In fact, many students of technology claim that the X-Wing is the most advanced single-pilot starfighter ever produced. The X-Wing receives its name from its double-layered wings, which separate into an X formation during combat to increase the starfighter's field of fire. Each wing is armed with a high-powered Tame and Back KX-9 laser cannon. The cannons can be fired individually, simultaneously, in pairs or in any other combination, proton torpedoes, such as those used to destroy the Death Star, are fired from Krupp's MG-7 launchers located near the bottom of the vessel. Although the X-Wing is designed for just one pilot and no passengers, the X-Wing jockey is never truly alone, thanks to the astromech socket located behind the cockpit. While in flight and during combat, the X-Wing's astromech is responsible for astrogation, navigation, damage control, and flight adjustments. The unit can also pilot the fighter in an emergency. R2 astromechs assigned to X-Wings carry up to 10 jump coordinates for escapes into hyperspace. One of the X-Wing's greatest assets is its durability. The fighter's reinforced titanium alloy hull Kempat deflector screen and deflector shield projectors, and Transparis steel canopy ensure that it can withstand several hits without suffering serious damage. In the event of disabling damage, the pilot can deploy the ship's ejection system. The X-Wing's history is nearly as important as its capabilities. Designed by Income Corporation in the early days of the Empire, the X-Wing schematics found their way into Rebel hands when several income engineers defected to the Alliance, the Rebels began producing X-Wings in modest numbers, and the vehicle quickly became one of the most important weapons in the Alliance arsenal. Since the Battle of Yavin, several X-Wing variants have been produced. The T-65A3 is a simple upgrade with improved shields, laser cannons, and targeting computers. The T-65AC4 was designed for increased durability and can withstand more punishment than other X-Wings. A reconnaissance X-Wing, the T-65R, or Snoop, lacks weapons and instead carries a host of sensors. The newest version of the Starfighter, the T-65XJ-3, was introduced shortly before the fall of Coruscant to the Yusan Vong and includes three proton torpedo launchers, the majority of XJ-3 X-Wings are operated by Jedi. And then here in this picture you have a diagram of an X-Wing. So figure one, you have the laser cannons. And then for two, you can see the proton torpedo launcher. And then three is the deflector shield projectors. Four is the thrust engines. Five is the S-foil assembly. Six is the flashback suppressor and seven is the double layered wings. All right, that is uh, some information on the X-Wing, a very famous starfighter which was used to help destroy two Death Stars and countless TIE fighters. And uh, yeah, it's a very popular ship. It's, it's one of the most iconic ships in Star Wars and a lot of people like it. It's a good, it's a good starfighter read about it in books and stuff like that you know and it, it's pretty effective i feel like it's it's better than a tie fighter so all right well let me know what you thought of the x-wing in the comment section down below and uh yeah let me know what 
uh, ship you would like next in the next uh, ship video. It'll be fun to discuss more ships. And uh, yeah, right now you can watch a couple of other lore related topics video wise on the screen now. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.